Thing evolved very quickly in the AI world, and Stable Diffusion is no exception. There are numerous ways to install Stable Diffusion. While some people prefer doing everything manually, others favor a one-click solution. Although the launcher from my previous videos still works, there's now an even better option. In this video, I will show you what I believe is the best way to install various flavors of Stable Diffusion using a straightforward UI. This tool not only enables you to install Automatic 1111 or Comfy UI with just one click, but it also streamlines the process of downloading and updating models. Additionally, it's cross-platform and is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Introducing the Stability Matrix. Not only does it offer a one-click install feature, but it's also completely free and integrates seamlessly with Civit AI. The minimum requirements mirror those of any flavor of Stable Diffusion. 8 gigabytes of RAM and at least 4 gigabytes of VRAM. The results are unfiltered and uncensored, and I'll provide a demonstration later in this video. You'll only need internet access for the initial installation. Importantly, they don't log your prompts or monitor your images. The terms of use don't require you to sell your soul. And as previously mentioned, there are various flavors of Stable Diffusion available. You won't have to stress over Python versions, and the user interface is really nice and polished. While this might sound too good to be true, I assure you that I'm not affiliated with them. I simply use the tool myself. Now let's get started with the installation. You can download the installer from GitHub or their official website. Once you've downloaded the file, click on it. If prompted, click Run Anyway. Next, accept the terms and choose your data directory. From there, you can select the version of Stable Diffusion you want. There are several options available. For this demonstration, I'll choose Automatic 1111. Simply click Install and wait. The rest of the process will be handled automatically for you. The process typically takes between three to five minutes to complete, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the installation is complete, you can click the Launch button to start the Stable Diffusion. During the first launch, it will download some additional libraries. This might take a few more minutes. Stable Diffusion 1.5 comes pre-installed, so everything works right out of the box. However, if your GPU has less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you might need to configure additional parameters. If you're not familiar with the user interface or unsure about how to use Stable Diffusion, I recommend watching my previous tutorials. To modify the launch arguments, go back to the stability matrix and click on Settings. If you have a GPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM, select Low VRAM. You can also update Stable Diffusion to the latest version if necessary. Or you can browse the files and output images in the installation directory. Now let's download some additional models. Click on the Model Browser, then hit the Search button. The results will appear based on your query. Installing is straightforward. Either click on the Import Latest button or choose a specific version. You can download multiple models simultaneously and Stability Matrix will organize them into the correct folders for you. Once the download is complete, simply hit the Refresh button in Stable Diffusion, and you're all set. Now, let's attempt to reproduce an image from the Civit AI website. Click Copy Generation Data, paste it into the Prompt field, hit the blue button, and then click Generate. You might need to adjust some settings to avoid errors. Images showcased on the website often utilize more advanced settings that require additional configuration. Let's click on Generate again. The resulting image is indeed very similar to the one featured on the Civit AI website, and we can generate infinite variations with the same prompt. Now let's install the SDXL model, as it is not included by default. Type the SDXL in the search bar. Please make sure that the period is set to all time, otherwise there may be no results. We can visit the Civit AI website to read the description and comments and to verify that this is the model we need. Next, click on the Import Latest button and wait for it to download. Once the download is complete, we can return to the Stable Diffusion window. Now click on the Refresh button and you will see the SDXL model in the list. Type in the prompt you want and adjust the image width and height. The SDXL works better with a 1024 pixel resolution. Then, click on Generate. It works without errors, but it takes forever to generate an image. Taking almost 10 minutes to generate an image on an RTX 4080 is not normal. There seems to be an issue with the default settings in the stability matrix. Let's try to fix this. We need to stop the stable diffusion and modify the launch options. 
The parameter causing the slowdown is named no half. Disable this. Depending on your hardware configuration, you might need to adjust other parameters as well. A full list of available arguments can be found on the automatic 1111 GitHub page. The link is available in the description. Now let's relaunch the stable diffusion and try the same prompt again. Type in the prompt, adjust the image resolution, and then click on Generate. As you can see, the image generation is now much faster, taking less than 15 seconds. The SDXL model is composed of two distinct models, the base model and the refiner model. Now let's proceed to install the refiner model. Open the model browser, click on the All Versions button and choose the refiner model. Then click Import to begin the download. Now go back to the Stable Diffusion and transfer our generated image to the Image to Image tab. Now choose the refiner model from the list. You might need to tweak the denoising strength parameter to ensure the resulting image closely resembles the initial one. And with that, we've successfully installed the refiner model and verified that it works. The latest version of the automatic 1111 web UI streamlines the process. You can now select the refiner model directly in the text to image tab, and the resulting image will automatically have the refiner model applied. Let's verify if the prompt queries are truly uncensored and unfiltered, allowing you to generate any images you desire. This would be in contrast to mid-journey. As you can see, there are no limits on making images with politicians. You can also apply various styles to your images. SDXL comes with numerous built-in styles. Whether you prefer the touch of a specific painter or a general style like pixel art or comic book, the choice is yours. You can also download various LoRa models to incorporate styles that aren't included by default. For instance, let's download the Ralph Steadman LoRa model and generate images of our politicians as if they were cast in fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Return to Stability Matrix. Enter Ralph Steadman in the search bar. Ensure you select the correct model type and then click the Import button to start the download. To use LoRa, click on the LoRa tab and choose the specific model you wish to apply. Alternatively, you can input the trigger word directly into the prompt field. The results using LoRa are much more engaging than the default SDXL model. To generate even better images, we should enrich our prompt with more descriptive words. Let's take an example from the Civit AI website for inspiration. I highly doubt that Midjourney can produce images like these. SDXL is entirely free and uncensored. The installation process is simple and beginner-friendly. Even if you don't have a powerful GPU, you can utilize the same setup in the cloud, as I explained in my previous video. Automatic 1111 isn't the only version of Stable Diffusion compatible with Stability Matrix. It supports various flavors of Stable Diffusion. For instance, we can install Comfy UI, which boasts more advanced features and utilizes a node-based interface. The installation process is straightforward. Go back to Stability Matrix, click on the Packages tab, and then click the Add Package button. Choose Comfy UI and click Install. Wait for the download process to complete, and then you'll be ready to launch Comfy UI. I won't cover the interface of Comfy UI in this tutorial, but as you can see, the installation process is quite straightforward and beginner-friendly. You can use this same procedure to install and try other variants of Stable Diffusion. If you have any questions, requests, or run into installation issues, please leave a comment below this video. If your GPU isn't powerful enough, you can run Stable Diffusion in the cloud. I've created a template which includes a desktop OS with SDXL pre-installed. It is very user-friendly, and there's no need for complicated console commands or navigating through clunky Jupyter notebooks. Simply follow the link on my website. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this.